24 countries, 4,000 athletes, one in spirit. Samoa 2019 Pacific Games, Samoa we on. Hi, Keith Akinboa here. I'm at the weightlifting event here at the South Pacific Games. I've got Malachi with me from Samoa. Malachi is only 17. He'll be competing this Saturday uh, in the men's uh, weightlifting. Malachi, uh, what does it take to be a champion weightlifter? Oh, a lot of hard work, a lot of hours, you know, a lot of KFC. Yeah, a lot of hard work, a lot of hours, a lot of KFC. Oh, there's no KFC in Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> DMC. DMC. <laughs> DMC or two, but there's a lot of other good food in Samoa. With Malachi, who's your uh, favorite uh, weightlifter? Your biggest inspiration? Uh, I'm, well, yeah, she's a weightlifter. That's awesome. Now, Malachi, thank you very much for your time, brother. We cross it over here to the weightlifting center here in Apia Samoa. My name is Kai Moa, reporting live from the men's final weightlifting. This is the ladies. This is the ladies. Ah, sorry about that one now. Sorry about that. Uh, we seem to have a bit of a technical difficulties here. But uh, welcome back to the men's weightlifting final. We have uh, Andrew David here from New Zealand. His second attempt at 177 kilo champs. It's, uh, let's see how he go. So here he just get into his routine. Get his one grip, two grip, and one and two and three and go. Oh, wait, if I thought it. Oh, it, no, oh, no, cross me. He's got it. Empty the rhythm from the cellar. What a lift. What a lift. What a god. What about the hair? Talk about uh, taking showing wow. us your pink bits to another level, is that? <laughs> I was meant to compete, but I uh, I stretched my asshole. I mean, my hibiscus, hibiscus uh, muscle. Um, you know, running track, warming up for the event. Um, I actually do a lot of uh, F35 as part of my preparation. So, what's the next thing you think? I'll make. You know, I might do a bit of uh, ultimate frisbee, maybe some shot put thing. Maybe uh, drink a few more beers. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Join us next time as we head to the Rugby Sevens event at the 2019 South Pacific Games in Samoa. Stay tuned for more player interviews from Keith Akinboa, live commentary from Kai Mua, and sus cameraman skills from a rookie roadie, Rikishi Johnson Jr., who for some reason recorded some of the footage on his old Nokia mobile phone. So bear with us when we pull out this type of wizardry. So with me, the Tonga captain, tell me about the game today. Yeah, it, was, it was a tough game against Cook Island. Um, we knew they were going to be tough um, up front. Uh, so we tried to get side to side. Uh, it, didn't, yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't easy losing two players, um, and I was one of them. But um, the boys, yeah, the, the boys, I'm um, hard up. Got the lucky game. That was a great game to watch with the uh, referee handing out more fucking yellow cards and visas today. But uh, an exciting match nonetheless. Big Mata Matonga fan. They brought the physical today with some massive hits. Uh, it was positive to see, uh, you know, Tonga Sevens building up again. You know, people want to see Tonga get back behind the Sevens. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's good. Um, Tonga Sevens ha hasn't been the same, but I'm um, sure, like, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've been in the World Series. Um, but we're trying to build, we're trying to build. Um, we're small right now. Um, right now we're based in um, Auckland. And um, yeah, we're trying to build from there and try and get as much good players as we can. Trying to get some more 15 players as well. Um, Brother, thank you very much. I think we can both say that Tonga Sevens is on the rise and we hope to see them back in the World Series dominating once again. Be sure to join us next time. But in the meantime, as always, like, share, subscribe for more pack content.